Amen. Amen. You know, the Gospel of Matthew says on the resurrection day there was a great earthquake. It wasn't some kind of tremble. But there was an earthquake to grab the attention of people to say that Christ has been risen. That Christ has risen. That he is no longer in the grave and he is alive and he is active today and the most important part that this is the focal point of our Christianity that the man that was dead he rose again he became our cornerstone the rock that we can stand on and explains the existence of the church and why we celebrate what we celebrate. The name of my message today is going to be Roll the Stone. Mark chapter 16 verse 1. It says, when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene married the mother of James, and Suleme brought spices so they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. И весьма рано, в первый день недели, приходя к гробу, при входе, восходе солнца, and they were saying to one another, who will roll, roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? И говорят между собою, кто отвалит нам камень от двери гроба? And looking up, they saw a stone has been rolled back, and it was very large. И взглянув, видят, что камень отвален, а он был весьма велик. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right hand, dressed in a white robe, and they were alarmed. И войдя в гроб, увидели юношу, сидящего по правой стороне, облеченного в белую одежду. And he said to them, "Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here." И ужаснулись. Он же говорит им, не ужасайтесь, Иисуса ищите Назарянина распятого. Он воскрес, его нет здесь. Марк нам показывает такую деталь в этом послании. Библия говорит, что когда настало утро, что Мария и Мария, они решили пойти к гробнице. There was a plan. But as they were walking, they started to ponder on this question. Who's going to roll away this stone for us? They were probably not worried about if there's going to be guards standing there or not. They knew that Peter wasn't with them no more. They were waiting to go to this tomb. But they had this question. Who's going to roll away this stone for us? It's interesting that what historians say when the first people that actually saw the stone, the stone that weighed about one and a half to two tons, that it wasn't just rolled away from the tomb, but it says that it was rolled up a slope away from the tomb itself to show that it was a supernatural occurrence. So going back to the story, the question that I have, if these women are pondering who's going to roll the stone, then the question is, why are you going there? You know that you physically yourselves can't move this stone. You know you have no power, no, there's no man or someone with you that can roll the stone away. But they had, they had this desire. Maybe with all the emotions going on in their minds. Our Savior has died. 
died. They have this doubt and questions in their minds. And their thought is, we can do one more thing for him. We can, put, we can go to the tomb and put spices on his body. But the Bible says when they arrived there, the, uh, the stone was already rolled away. So the stone represents a barrier. Этот камень он обозначает преграду или барьер. Это был барьер к их цели. И у них была только одна цель. Что они хотели помазать своего спасителя ароматами. You know, Easter means a lot of things to all of us. We can see on the screen the things that Easter can represent. We understand that death was defeated. We understand that Christ has risen. We understand that there is eternal life. We understand that death is not our Savior. We understand, we understand all of these things. And each of these points it can be a sermon of its own but I want us to focus on another aspect this morning a detail that all four gospels point to that the stone was rolled away that shows us even today on Easter Sunday that Jesus is still able to roll the stones away from our life so in that, in that story for these two women the stone represented a barrier to what they wanted to do the stone for us today as well can represent many things. And one of the things that I want to talk about is things that we walk away from. We want to do a lot of things in life. And we put all these plans. And we start to do these things. Then we come to these obstacles. And we realize maybe we don't have enough money. We don't have enough resources. And we stop. And the things that were, were on our heart at one time, it becomes this stone. It becomes this barrier. And we turn around. And we just walk away. And at these obstacles, we turn away. Examples of it. When we have these misunderstandings or arguments, arguments with one another, everything is going so well. And there becomes a misunderstanding between two people. And this misunderstanding becomes this stone. It becomes this separation of what we wanted to do. We turn around. We stop. And we walk away. When we look at these women, they knew their stone was there. They didn't turn around. So let not the fear of something hard keep us from doing the things that the Lord has put on our heart. Maybe we were walking away. We're walking away from church. We're walking away from our faith. We have this doubt. We have this unbelief in our heart. These stones start to come up in our life. And we start to question. Is God still able to hear my prayers? Is he still strong enough to turn my life around? Is he still strong enough? to return my kids home. And these stones can creep in in our life. But we have to realize that it's not the circumstance that has the final word, but it's Jesus Christ. It might be dark right now in our life, and we might not understand what's happening, but Jesus is working on the background. And a lot of times, 
и часто it might not work to the way that we want it to how это, we understand it это может быть не работает как мы понимаем или как мы хотим but I want to encourage you но я хочу вас вдохновить to keep on fighting чтобы вы продолжали бороться to keep on moving продолжайте двигаться do not let these barriers become a block не разрешайте этим барьерам быть этим препятствием between you and Jesus между тобой и Иисусом number two номер два there are things that hold us back. There's these stones. There are these obstacles that we, ha- we can have in our life that it does not allow us to live an f- abundant life in Jesus Christ. For example, stones of fear. When we look at Peter, we look at him, and this man, he denied Christ. He walked away from him. And when, these late, when the woman went to the tomb, he was not with them. The Bible says he, he was somewhere away from them. Had this fear maybe of the people of the Romans. This guilt, this shame that maybe he betrayed Jesus. And he builds this stone. This stone becomes in his life. The stone of fear. When we look on the screen, we can see other things. The stone of rebellion. The stone of despair. Of discouragement. Of hopelessness. Of confusion. Of self-pity. All of these stones can happen in our life when we're walking. We don't lose salvation. But it makes our life more difficult here on earth. These stones that we carry on our back. But I have the good news. That Jesus Christ. He resurrected from the dead. The, the stone was removed. And the same thing for you and I today. These stones can be removed from our life. But number three, we have to be ready to face those stones. A lot of times we talk about the problem, but we never face the problem. We have to admit, we have to confess. We have to renounce certain things in our life for us to be humble enough to maybe face these painful realities in my life to have the courage inside to say, Lord, I tried in my way but nothing is changing. I ask you, the resurrecting power, the power of the the Holy Spirit that raised him from the grave for you to move these stones in my life. And at the end, I want to say, I'm not sure where you are in your life. I don't know what stones you have. What is completely sealed up that no one can see. And you might be thinking there is no way out. But there is a way out because Jesus defeated death. He is victorious. And he says, look up to me. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. I want us to stand to our feet. In these next few moments, for us to realize the only one that can roll away the stones is Jesus Christ. If we look at our life right now, if we have these stones in our life, I ask you just to raise your hand as a sign of surrender and say, Lord, Remove this from my life. The stone of doubt. The stone of unbelief. Let me believe you. Let me trust you. You have the power over the impossible in my life. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, 
Lord Jesus, we surrender to you. We come to you, Lord Jesus. You are the only one that is able to remove things that we, it seems impossible for us. You're able to make it possible. You have enough power. You have enough strength. And we say, Lord, help me remove these things from my life. The things that stop me from living my life completely surrendered to you. And I confess and I admit that I need your help. Touch every area in my life. I surrender to you, Lord Jesus. That you do the work. That your spirit is going to remove these stones from my heart. That I can worship you today. That I can have the peace of God in my heart. Knowing that my Savior, He is in control of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah.